All right, a bizarre and unsubstantiated claim has somehow percolated up from city council meetings to internet chat groups to the presidential debate stage. And it put the town of Springfield, Ohio, in the national spotlight. As we mentioned earlier in the show, Donald Trump mentioned it last night, making for one of the more memorable debate moments. But it's actually his running mate, J.D. Vance, who really amplified these wild claims, saying he's hearing from his constituents about pets being abducted by Haitian migrants, providing no evidence or proof of that actually happening. Here's what he said about it after the debate. We just actually heard a 911 call from a citizen in Springfield earlier today that some of the immigrants in Springfield were capturing geese at the local pond, Dogs. slaughtering them and killing them. Dogs. Well, I mean, look, I don't know which, what are the full spate of animals that, they're, that are being consumed there in Springfield, but I know the geese are certainly among them. And we've heard reports from a number of constituents on the ground that they have had pets abducted by some of the immigrants there. Okay, that's a little bit dicey. It's based on one Facebook report citing a neighbor's daughter's friend. To be clear, Springfield's mayor and city officials say there are no credible threats of any pets being harmed. But pets canard aside, Springfield actually is facing a pretty big problem. The dilemma, same dilemma actually, that many other mid-sized manufacturing towns are facing right now. Balancing the need for workers versus managing the finite resources for their community. Springfield is a town of just under 60,000 people per the 2020 census. And since then, an estimated 15 to 20,000 migrants have settled there looking for work, many of them from Haiti. And while many of these migrants are there legally and are working, that does mean that the hospitals and other municipal services are stretched thin. There's also a concern, a huge concern, that many of these people are driving without valid driver's licenses and are causing an increase in car accidents in the area. So what's the truth on the ground in Springfield? Well, we sent News Nation's investigative correspondent, Rich McHugh, to find out. He joins us live. All right, Rich, let's deal with the big question. Has anybody told you their pet was murdered and eaten by a Haitian migrant? No. I'll say that <laughs> nobody's nobody's confirmed that Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, there are residents that we've talked to that say, "Look, we're not exactly buying the town's narrative that it's unsubstantiated." There's all types of views here. I'll say that. So, but they're saying the bigger story is the infrastructure, and the, the real story is the infrastructure here. We're here in front of Job and Family Services, where like there's been a steady stream of Haitian immigrants literally all day long. We couldn't get anybody to speak to us. They couldn't speak English. But the residents we spoke to say, look, this is the issue. This situation is out of control. The city is not designed for the 20,000 Haitian immigrants that are here now. Take a look. I feel like there should be a no vacancy sign up right now. And people are still coming in. The influx of Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, has stressed health care, schools, and the number of auto accidents has skyrocketed. The state has pledged $2.5 million to increase access to medical care, but Governor Mike DeWine says the federal government needs to step up. They have to step up. It is their policies that have created these surges. FBI data shows that violent crime in the city is up 142% from 2019 to 2022. The latest year data is available. Residents are fed up. Bill Monahan, a former journalist here, now part of a group called Stop the Influx. It's causing uh, sharp increases in rent and home prices, which is forcing people out of their homes. Um, it's uh, causing... Uh, uh, delays in public safety responses like uh, police, fire, um, especially police, um, or even uh, emergency services. You go out to a site and no one speaks English. This man says he lost his job and now his home because of the influx. And who replaced you? Patients uh, to a temporary company because I found out that they could get it for a lot less than 21 an hour. But it is the topic of migrants eating pets and animals that has gone viral. I see a group of Haitian people, there was about four of them, they all had geese in their hand. They're in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them. Like but local police and town officials say they cannot substantiate that. There have not been any credible reports or specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community.
Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.